Happy New Year, people. Happy, happy, happy New Year. Ah, oh, 2020 word is here, guys. First January. And I have a good word for you. We are, I'm closing the final sec chapter. What, what, what? About, um, the Christmas series. So, here we go. There were no fireworks these days, but you all had a chocolate stove. You know, did fireworks the Mr. Bond's way. <laughs> Lord, this day will be the end of us. Anyway, today I want to talk about how prophets, yeah, rewind, <laughs> how unbelief clogs prophecy. Ah, Heavenly Father, Lord, want to thank you so much for this wonderful time, for this wonderful new year, for this wonderful world. Joy is going to be our daily thing, and we're excited. So thank you, thank you so much. And we pray that this word sinks in upon fertile ground, soils, and may direct our next steps. In Jesus' name, amen. To such an ever, and I see you, my friend. Happy, happy, happy new year. You get to be the first person who gets a uh, shout outs on an online show on the air. <laughs> yeah, I have a good word for you guys. So, um, uh, I hope uh, there are some people here with a chizinda nearby. I hope it's not being loud because I'm trying my best. So I hope uh, I hope the sound is fine and it's not being inter- in- interrupted by that other sound. Okay, here we go. Luke chapter 1. It says, uh, verse 11 says, And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. This is Zacharias. Shout out time with James Merck, TJ, TJ, hey, 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 the bassist, the baddest bassist, the baddest, the, 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 the baddest bassist in town. Yeah, y'all deserve gifts. <laughs> Even TJ, y'all deserve gifts. And Christ is your gift. <laughs> Allow me to go back to the preaching. So anyway, it's going to be short, but it's going to be encouraging and lovely and timely for 2021. So uh, Luke 1 verse 11, 12. Now, so this is when uh, the angel, appear, angel, Gabriel, angel Gabriel appeared to Zacharias. And so um, the, the angel appeared. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear you a son. And thou shalt call his name John, and thou shalt you shall have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, eh? Not not pilsna, not tasca, not not stone, not he'll just take holy water. <laughs> it's a joke, guys. And it shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from the mother's womb. I come, I declare a blessing upon anyone who's expecting child. That your child shall be filled with the Holy Ghost in your mother. And this is not talking about a child. I'm talking about a dream. A dream you have this year. I declare that it's filled with the Holy Spirit while it's still in your womb. In Jesus' name. Uh, it continues to say in verse 6, 9, And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to God. And it shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready our people prepared for the Lord. Mm-hmm. Verse 18 says, And Zacharias said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man. And my wife was stricken in years. He's trying to say, <laughs> Aha. Aha. We'll continue. Verse 19 says, And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel stands in the presence of God and I'm sent to speak unto thee and to show you glad tidings. And behold, you shall be dumb and not able to speak until the day that this thing shall be performed because you believe not my words which shall be fulfilled in their season. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. Now, guys, notice what happened. I'm not saying the angel is going to come and 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 and, and it's going to appear upon thee and uh, unto you and say, Hey, behold, Eva, TJ, you shall receive twins. <laughs> Some of you may be very new wanting to it, but anyway, you can receive it. But I'm, I'm, I'm just giving an example, paraphrasing. And so, Zacharias is doubting what the word of the Lord that's being said to him, like what it is. And, and, and so what happens is the angel 
tells him you're not going to speak anymore. So he does it. The angel does it in good faith, actually, because what's happening is many of us are going to receive prophecies from pastors, prophecies for our spiritual parents, prophecies from friends. You're going to receive prophecies through, um, I don't know, people are going to walk up to you and declare what a wonderful stuff. And once you doubt them, you're going to clog. Once you doubt them, you're going to make the prophecy lose its power. It, it's not just about prophecy, but the word, the word of God in its in entirety. If God says, for example, that wealth and riches are in your house and you say, and you doubt it, trust me, that unbelief is going to suck out the power that's in that word. When God says, um, I've forgiven all your sins through Christ, uh, the, uh, Christ, my son, and you doubt that, you're going to suck out all the power that that's why the is is able to do and that, and that does not mean that word is going to stop working for other people no it's going to work my friend my friend that work is going that work that word is going to work uh, if the word says by his stripes we were healed we were healed and you don't believe it you will remain unhealed until you believe it that's when the power that's trapped in every word of god is going to come alive become flesh and swallow you up what am i trying to say believe everyone believe every word you read in this word after that it's going to encourage prophecy to come forth it's going to encourage each of this very own word of god to come alive if for example i don't know i don't know which scripture i can throw at you uh if it says uh, he will not withhold any good thing from you and you believe it and you believe it because that 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 word in its very self is also a prophecy if you want to doubt it then every good thing that you need is going to come unto you if you don't believe it you will clog you know it's like a pipe the word is like a pipe once you read it once you read, it's alive already and then when you read and believe it's like a pipe coming from the word and to you until it manifests if you doubt it it's not going to come to pass now let me show you what happened uh for so for 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 what happened for gabriel sorry for for zacharias when he shut the mouth of of of, of um when Angel Gabriel shut the mouth of Zacharias and made him dumb, what happened was with time he saw Elizabeth becoming pregnant and so he started believing. He believed after seeing it. And then yet the word says in 2 Corinthians 5, 7 that the, the, the righteous shall walk by faith and not by sight. So God was so gracious for his case that he just shut him up and just let the manifestation of that thing make him believe but that's not what's going to happen you don't wait for don't wait to first see that thing otherwise you're going to drag that, that thing that's supposed to have come now and you make it delay three weeks and you make it delay three months and you make it delay three years you have to believe god by uh every single word he says and all shall come to pass so uh if you read what happened um when you continue in chapter one verse sixty eight let me see let me see this uh and uh and all they that had them laid them up in their hands saying what manner of child shall this be and the hand of the Lord was with him that's I think verse sixty six sixty seven says and his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied saying this after john coming to birth blessed be the lord god of israel for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up up and horn of salvation for us has spake by the mouth of these holy prophets which have been since the world began Quigamba, till the end of chapter one you're seeing zacharias now prophesying initially his unbelief stopped him from prophesying now what's happening is most of us when we read the word of god and believe it we shall be caused shall be pushed to prophesy using the word of god into 2021 into our finances into our health into our families into the ones we love into, whew, as long as firstly you what you believe every word that it says david said once you've spoken twice i had uh and and then he said uh, paul says we speak because we believe. It, it, but I wish I could find that scripture for you. Just Lord help, help, help me find this scripture for you. Let me see, let me see. Uh, uh, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful. Uh-huh. 
Thank you, Jesus. So, 2 Corinthians 4, verse 13 says, We having the same spirit of faith, according as it's written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. I believed and therefore have I spoken. If you don't believe the word God has written in his word, you will not speak it. And speaking it is prophesying. When, when God said, let there be light, he had no ounce of doubt in him. So, you have to believe it. And so, we speak it. And we also believe and therefore we speak. People speak after believing the word and what they believe. What they speak, they are creating. So do not uh, get get rid of that and believe. Get rid of that and believe. Get get rid of the past of whatever twenty twenty threw at you and start a, a new 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 beginnings. A fresh start. Start on a fresh page. Believe God once again. Believe God for what miracles. What believe it. Believe it straight up. Just believe. Just believe what He says. That uh, I alone have. Perfect, great plans for you. Plans to bring you prosperity. I know this. Just believe it with all your heart, because that is going to lead you to believe that is going to provide for that thing that is going to increase you in revelation and wisdom. Is going to give you the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Is going to give you every, 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 every good thing that you've ever said. So, guys, that was the word today, and I hope you've been blessed and encouraged. Happy, 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 happy New Year, and don't forget that unbelief clogs prophecy till we meet again this is biggest gospel show bye bye